In this lesson, I will talk about the violent extremism, radicalization and countering violent extremism. First of all, we need to understand that there is no single cause of radicalization and violent extremism. However, followings are some basic factors that trigger violent extremism. The first one is individual socio-psychological factors. The second one, social factors. Third one is political factors. Third, fourth one, ideological and religious dimensions. Fifth one is the role of cultural and identity issues. Sixth one is the trauma and other trigger mechanism. Seventh one is group dynamics. Eighth is radicalizers. And ninth, the role of the social media. In general, these are the push and pull factors among the individuals as radicalization mechanism. Now, let's discuss these factors separately. First one is individual social psychological factors. The local and international violent groups or networks exploit emotions and grievances like exclusion and alienation, frustration and resentment, and grievances in order to engage the individuals in violent extremism through different ways. Furthermore, they also carefully observe a strong sense of injustice, feelings of insult, strict binary thinking, sense of self-victimization, personal vulnerabilities, and countercultural elements are also closely observed to achieve their holy mission. Tendency to misinterpret real situation, spread of conspiracy theories should also considered as a trigger for emergence of violent extremism. Second one is social factors. Include marginalization, social exclusion and discrimination might happen in a society. Indeed, it doesn't matter whether it is real or fabricated. Limited social mobility, limited education or job opportunity, a component of displacement, criminality, lack of social cohesion and self-exclusion are also push factors that motivates individuals to get radicalized. The third one is political factors. Include grievances formed around self-victimization against military intervention and foreign policy of Western countries in Middle East and Africa. In other words, this narrative called West is at war with Islam, which somehow majority of grassroots in Islamic countries or in the countries that is Islam is the religion of the majority. They even correlate their societal problems like historical development with it. it to put in different this is narrative of them versus us. For instance, it is believed that war in Syria and other Islamic countries between different groups were started and continued by the Western countries. The cartoon crisis that happened a few years ago and other issues are all fact that the West is purposefully at war with the Muslim world. Such kind of strong sense of injustice and estrangement is also strengthened by xenophobia, discrimination and Islamophobia. First one is ideological and religious factor include a whole historical mission and belief in apocalyptic oracle. As the West is war with the Islam world, it is believed that there is a need of violent jihadi mission on purpose of protecting Islam and values related as well as spread it in the world. Because it is perceived that Western countries aim also to expand immoral secularism in order to defeat Islam. In this regard, a Salafi jihadi interpretation of Islam is one of the main tools. The fifth one is cultural and identity crisis factors that relate to cultural marginalization of people living in Western countries. Some Muslim people who immigrated to Western countries in different periods of the history feel alienation and lack of belonging to either home or the parents' society after some years. In other words, they barely stay in between. Such kind of situation reinforces religious solidarity with Muslims around the world. These individuals are also sensitive to target group of different radicalized group to recruit or motivate them to act violent extremism in their societies. Sixth one is the trauma and other trigger mechanisms that include psychological trauma experience through parents with post-traumatic stress disorder or other complex psychological problems. As the numbers of non-Muslim individuals are recruited and radicalized, different studies prove that those people are individuals who experience trauma in some period of their life. Seventh one is group dynamics that involves charismatic leadership, kinship, leader relationship, and a pre-existing friendship, socialization, group thinking, self-isolation, polarizing behavior, and counter-cultural elements. There are people who are self-isolated or find difficulty to socialize in a society. Those individuals are also evaluated a uh, vulnerable group to be easily radicalized. Eighth one is radicalizers that involve hate missionaries, those that prey on vulnerability and grievances and channel recruits into violent extremism through persuasion, pressure and manipulation. 
radicalizers use different methods in order to reach people through their closed networks in different countries. They continuously work on the individuals who can easily be manipulated. The ninth one is social media that provides connectivity, virtual participation and an echo chamber for like-minded extremist views. As the modern technology has positive sides, these tools are also used for distracted purposes as well, which is almost impossible to control. Internet reaches other, otherwise unreachable individuals. It speeds the process of radicalization up and enhances opportunities for self-radicalization. In addition, they also benefit different modern technology tools like WhatsApp, Telegram, Messenger and so on to reach people, as well as they use other social media like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter to spread their ideologies among people from all over the world. This indeed aims them to have more supporters and recruit more people. Thank you very much for watching us.